Hey guys, here we are with the keys to victory for Errol Spence versus Kell Brook. Um, obviously both fighters do really great work once they get their opponent on the ropes, but we're not going to focus on that because it's pretty obvious. Um, it's also obvious that uh, both fighters probably want to establish lead foot dominance at some point in the fight to set up their shots, but we're going to go ahead and go over um, Errol Spence's uh, because it's such a, a huge facet of his of his offense is establishing lead foot dominance. Um, when he's not fighting on the inside, uh, this is his primary source of of offense. Um, we're gonna show. We're gonna talk a little bit about how he sh he sets it up. So there he goes. Shows the left hand, right? Shows him the left hand again, and <clears throat> uh, Chris Algieri does get under it, right? But notice how he doesn't control Errol Spence after. Um, that kind of sets him up to take this right hook to the body right after. So boom, boom, misses, and then Errol Spence catches him with the body shot and then pivots out. Really good work from Errol Spence right there. Um, and uh, it, it shows that he he's really doing he he's really efficient at what he does when he establishes lead foot dominance. Even being able to find that shot after he misses all his offense. Then he goes right into it again, the same exact thing. Right, jab jab again and then throws a left to the body and then the right hook really good really smart um, he knows where all the openings are when he has lead foot dominance and uh, I assume that once like Kell Brook's gonna know these punches are coming those are just like the obvious open punches um, not a lot of setup to them uh, he, you know the double jab feint um, but once he he establishes this this will open up other opportunities for him to land punches. I do want to point out also that in the first time, Errol Spence tried to go to the head with the straight left, and then he goes to the body with this one, I think, unless he's catching him in the head when he dips down like that. I don't know. But showing that he's um, he's making an adjustment to Chris Algieri's head movement, so that's really smart. Uh, the next one, uh, again, a little bit of the same thing right here. Jab, jab. I think he only throws one jab, um, and then throws the straight left to the body and then the right hook to the body again jab jab left straight left right hook then he goes in with this one right here jab jab uppercut kind of thing uh chris algeri right here trying to establish hand control errol spence just swats his hand down takes lead foot dominance and catches him with the left hand right here boom Comes in, does some good work right there. Jab, jab. And then misses with the straight left, but then catches him with the right hook. Um, Errol Spence doing some really good work there. Um, this is basically the only way that he does establish lead foot dominance. So when you're talking like the build a house theory, right? Being fast, being strong, punching hard. Um, those are your tools. Uh, and what you do with them is more important than how good those tools are usually um sometimes it's not you know in maybe in errol spence's case because he's he's a freak athlete he's really 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 uh talented uh physically um but he's gonna need to vary this um his his style of gaining lead foot dominance uh, because against like higher level fighters um he, eventually that pattern is going to be taken away from him um and i don't have any video of of Frankie Gavin establishing lead foot dominance against him um, because Kell Brook actually had a few answers for them. Um, but I'm going to go over Errol Spence's answers to his answers too. But um, that's going to be all for this video. Establishing lead foot dominance is going to be one of the, the biggest keys for him to be successful against Kell Brook. Um, and establishing um, and landing uh, clean and effective punches. Um... Anyway, uh, like, comment, and subscribe, and I'm going to move on to the next video.